Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Oh my, this is like the Titanic in fast motion. Is she pushing herself down? Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is the Titanic in Stormworks. Uh, this thing is absolutely massive. Uh, we're going to be checking it out and other creations during this episode. Now, I do warn you, since this thing is so massive, and I think it's in like five parts, uh, the first of this is going to be a bit laggy. I'm hoping that it clears up when we get out to sea, but yeah, it's going to be a bit, of a, a bit of an issue here to begin with. But this is definitely something you guys have been requesting to see. And we're going to be going over this bad boy. So anyways, the creations are linked down in the description. Multiplayer is returning soon too. OB just got back from vacation, so me, him, and Spy should have some multiplayer Stormworks in our other videos coming up. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying Stormworks, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any suggestions for future Stormworks episodes, comment below. Alright, here we are. The frame rate is kind of real. I think it's partially due uh, because we're real shallow right now. And the bottom of the boat is really close to the uh, the actual bottom of the seafloor there. So as soon as we move away, I think we'll be okay. Plus, we're losing lifeboats at the moment. I didn't realize this thing had all individual lifeboats. Like, a lot of these big ships, they'll just weld them to the deck, I guess, to help with lag. But uh, this one does not have that. Now, this is made by, I believe it's the Oregon Star Line, if I'm saying that right. It's a creator on the uh, workshop. It's got a fantastic workshop, by the way, so definitely check it out uh, with tons of ships. But, yeah, I knew this was coming. Uh, it's a member of the Discord, and I was like, this is going to be amazing. So here we are. We're going to start to move to get into deeper waters here. You're probably going to see lifeboats falling off because I've only connected one of them uh, because there's just so many of them, and you have to manually connect them to the davit. Uh, now, another thing you're going to notice, the stack, the last stack, is a little, we'll call it cattywampus. It's actually moving right now. Uh-oh. Okay, is it good? I think it's good. Uh, this is one of those ships that you have to spawn in with a custom mission, and that doesn't always turn out the greatest because uh, when the mission spawns in, the magnets all connect together uh, for the boat, and sometimes it freaks out. Like, the first time I spawned this in, which we'll try to spawn it again here in a bit... Uh, this whole thing fell apart, and it was hilarious, and I'm really, really mad I wasn't recording at the time. But, uh, it connected the second time, and it looks great. Actually, that last stack just corrected itself. I like that. So, yeah, uh, there is... I don't think there's really any interior in here, and this is obviously because of Stormworks limitations. Uh, if one day in Stormworks we could have a full Titanic, uh, with a full interior, that would be amazing. But right now, this is mostly... An exterior boat so what you're seeing is kind of what you get so we're gonna go out to sea uh, it is already clearing up it feels a little bit better still not gonna be perfect uh, we're gonna check this thing out we're gonna connect a couple more lifeboats because this thing does have a sink button and I think that's gonna be pretty awesome I don't think we're gonna test this thing against the elements though I'm not sure that's gonna be a good idea because if this thing capsizes I'm gonna have to spawn it again and there's no guarantees uh, when you're spawning in Stormworks so we probably will do a traditional sink. Now, if we had an iceberg to hit, I would probably do that, but uh, we do not. So we're just going to have to do this with the old scuttle button. All right, so we're starting to turn to the right. She is a mammoth. Like, this is taking forever, but, I mean, it's actually turning. I'm actually really impressed uh, with something this big. I actually really would kind of want to see how it's turning. We'll go to the back and go into photo mode here in a second. Now, as far as is this Oregon Starline ship a one-to-one -one scale with the real Titanic, that I don't know. Honestly, it might be. Uh, maybe it's a little smaller. I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't want to say for sure if it is or isn't, but this is definitely the biggest Titanic in the game. And, oh, that feels quite a bit better. It's still a little choppy, but it's definitely a lot better than it was on the shore. So anyways, we're in the wheelhouse here. You've got like the... This actually reminds me of the Titanic movie, which I haven't seen in a long time. This kind of reminds me of the wheelhouse on that. You got this little front setup, and there's a little interior back here. So you got the interior with another uh, big wheel here, or a helm. Uh, we can walk out this way. So we're back on deck. Like I said, all the lifeboats are loose. I've got this one connected here. So when we're ready to escape and lower the lifeboats, uh, we'll go ahead and go down to the controls. Uh, right here, and we'll go ahead and put the davit. We'll move it off. It's actually got a railing system. This is actually really useful. 
So the first thing you would do, you would go whoop and push it off. It's gonna take it a second here. Actually, I should probably raise this real quick. Let's get that line tight. There we go. Uh, we'll get the boat in the air and then we'll drag it off. Oh, the uh, the deck magnet's on. Let's go and turn that off real quick. There we go. All right, so that swings the boat off. That's actually a really good system. I don't think I've ever seen one quite like this. So we've got the rails off, and then we would uh, we can move the actual angle out, so we should be able to clear the, the actual ship and not get caught on it. So that's pretty good. Okay, so we got that. Uh, these bad boys are going to start slipping off here. Uh, we'll go on a little bit of a tour. Like I said, there's really no interior, uh, but we definitely have a lot to check out here. I love that. He's even got the, the angles on the stacks are back a little bit. It looks like they're on some sort of like pivot here and a magnet because they're not connected all the way down into the deck. Like a lot of the ships that I see that are this big, the actual stacks just come out of the ship itself. But I don't think you could achieve the angle that this has with that. Oh, it gets so quiet back here. It's quiet because uh, we're away from the uh, main engine, which is in the front. So that's a bit weird. Uh, let's go back here. Oh, it's so peaceful back here. This is this is actually really, really weird. Okay, so let's go around to the uh, the back side of the ship here. Check it out. Oh, this looks actually really nice back here. And it looks like it's got possible, are those magnets, like little cranes? Possibly back here, this may be where they would actually store things. So maybe they were getting like a lot of luggage and stuff like that and using the cranes to put it back down here. That thing looks so ridiculous. Like, that's, that's impressive. Oh boy. Okay, so we got that. I have like no sound because we're not, we don't have anything to actually be around. Uh, let's go ahead and take, uh, let's go up from this deck and we'll walk forward. So could you imagine having this view? Maybe some deck furniture here. Everybody's looking off. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, too bad we couldn't make this with an interior. That would be just ridiculous. And not to say that Stormworks won't ever get there to that type of optimization. That would also take the creators a really, really long time too. And I imagine this thing, it probably took weeks. If I'm not mistaken, I actually heard about this thing when it was being built and that was Oh, man, that might have been at least a month ago. So, yeah, this is definitely taking the creator a long, long time to put together. So we would sink this thing at night, kind of like the real Titanic, but we're not going to do that because I don't believe there's any lights on this. Uh, that would probably lag a ton if you had lights on this bad boy. It would look awesome, but, yeah, we're going to have to sink this kind of right here, right now with the scuttle button. Curious how this is going to work. Is it going to break apart any... Sometimes I think people trigger those magnets to like break because I'm pretty sure she lost like a stack or two and then of course she snapped or at least that's how I think that happened. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and go in here and so let's get the helm. All right, I think we are about ready to go. Let's go ahead and activate two. All right, so sync mode is on. I don't know how the sync mode works. Probably doors. Oh, look at that. So her front compartment's gonna flood. You can see all the doors open right here. It's gonna flood through there. Oh, the doors have opened up through here. Oh, uh huh. Let's go into photo mode. Let's actually look through here real quick, and we'll see the science behind the scene. So you've got the uh, the front doors. These just open. So that door system open. The front spewing in water all through here. I wonder how long this is gonna actually take. This is still a big big hole to fill up so there are your engines those are gonna flood that compartment opened up ah this is gonna be triggered so you've got a couple here that are flooding I think eventually these are gonna open up once this thing fills up towards the front it'll spew over into this compartment which is gonna be slowly filling this is pretty genius looking and then what about here is there additional compartments filling up it looks like it ends here huh Ah, something's going to trigger these to open up. This is going to be a kind of like a scripted sink. It's not going to be just, hey, we open up a door and it's just going to go down. I think this is going to maybe go down in a little bit of a unique way. So we're here to watch the action. This is going to be awesome. All right, you can see that front end is starting to tip downward. I don't think this is going to take that long, to be honest with you. Question is, you know what? We need to secure another lifeboat, is what it is. We need to secure one towards the back because she's going to go down in the front, and by the time we deploy that lifeboat, I think it's going to be game over. So let's go ahead and make a run for it here. 
Titanic is going down. We need to hook one of these bad boys up immediately. Uh, question is, do we still have some in the very back? Uh, we got one. Okay, so is the deck magnet? It is on. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's turn on the main magnets real quick. Okay, oop, hop up here, get the connector. There we go, those are on. Let's go ahead and give this thing some slack. Uh, is this all the way back? I think it is. Come on, one of these is gonna have to connect. We have to help it here. Come on. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. She's going down quick. That is way quicker than I thought she would. Oh, we are screwed. Oh my, this is like the Titanic in fast motion. Is she pushing herself down? What the heck? That had to have been gone in like a minute from when I showed you guys the front end going down. That is so quick. Oh, I think the, uh, oh, the stuff's disconnecting. Look at that. The lifeboats are falling off. Oh, that is insane looking on. Oh, no. I thought we were getting to a lifeboat. Not today, folks. On, run, 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 run. Oh, that was so quick. I didn't expect that. Uh-oh. 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 She's going down. All right, on. Get away from her. Oh, boy. We might have to hit the scuttle button again. That was really unexpected. Look at <laughs> <laughs> that thing did not, uh, it didn't wait at all. Like, she was done. She noped out of there. Look at that. What in the heck? I don't think I've ever seen a, uh, I don't think I've ever seen a ship sink like that. That was so quick for how big it was. Did it just give up? What happened there? Look at it. It's driving to the bottom of the ocean. You know, it would be kind of cool to go get, like, a mini sub and go see, uh, its resting place. So, uh, can you confirm it doesn't? It doesn't look like it breaks apart. It just goes down in an instant. Like, I was just sitting there getting the lifeboat set up, and I look back, I'm like, wow, we're already tilted really far. Wow, we were deep. Look how far it is down. It's still going down. Oh, man. Hey, but look at the bright side. Some of the lifeboats uh, fell off the deck, and for sure, I think we would be okay here. Because we, uh, we can climb. Oh, I think these things probably need, like, a ladder or something. Um, do we have a door we can set on? There we go. That's good. We made it. We survived the Titanic, which sunk in a matter of like two minutes. You know, I feel the need to respawn that uh, because, yeah, we're not going to get off that with a lifeboat. It just goes too quick. Not unless we like deploy immediately, which I don't think there's much fun in that. Uh, but I do want to see that again in the third person angle. All right, let's try this once again. Let's go Titanic. There we go. And spawn. All right, check this out. Here she comes. Will it make it this time? Oh, there it is. Hold on, is it going to hold it together? Ooh, it actually looked like it did it good that time. You know, it only fell apart on me once. Maybe that was a, a one-time deal, and then once you get past it, it's good to go. All right, let me get back on it, crank her back up, get out to, uh, get out to some decently deep water, and then we'll hit the sink again. We'll kind of just watch it. Uh, maybe we'll do kind of like just a cinematic angle, and you guys can watch it go down. Alright, so for our next creation here, and this is probably going to take up the rest of the episode because it's absolutely big and amazing. This is the UNSC Till Morning Light. It's the Paris Class Heavy Frigate, and this is by Ghost, and yeah, this is going to be cool. Here she comes. She's going to be a little bit laggy here. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. That is crazy. Like, the craftsmanship here is 
Wow, that is second to none. So this thing has a custom little base it's setting on. That way you can spawn it here in the water. So you can see this little uh, dock area here. So we just kind of walk over here. Now, this thing has several features. I wanted to test this thing out in single player first because I kind of got a neat idea. This might work with uh, multiplayer. I just wanted to check the lag. Hold on, let's go ahead and get inside real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and close that bad boy up here. Do we need the firefighting equipment yet? Uh, we probably need a parachute. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. Uh, let's go see if we can find some. Oh, man, this is, wow, this is cool. This feels like a, a tight little battleship, spaceship thing. Uh, very nice. Oh, let's uh, see if we can make our way over. So, yeah, if this thing works out right, this could be a cool uh, multiplayer thing. Wait, this has uh, drop pods? Is this where it was? Uh, there's a section of this that, oh, these just look like straight up drop pods. There's a big chunk of this ship that will actually fall out and you can drop soldiers off. Uh, I think this might be just your standard, uh, escape pod, which I kind of want to try everything. Like, I want to try this part of it, because that could be cool to do a little drop pod and get out of the, uh, ship, say it's in, uh, trouble or something. Alright, we got some stuff here. Let's see, you got a bay door over here. What in the heck is this? Okay, cut fuel flow to the VTOL. Ah, here it is. This the whole little section here drops out. And uh, I think, yeah, this thing is powered so we can go down and actually uh, drop some troops off. This is cool. Now, I'm going to go ahead and admit I'm not the biggest Halo fan. I was a really big Halo fan when I was uh, young, right around when uh, Halo 3 came out and 2 and 1. But beyond that, I have not kept up with it at all. Even though I do believe this thing's uh, listed as being from Halo 3. See, the chief officer's office. Okay, so you got that. I'm trying to find my way up to the bridge. I feel like we're still on the uh, I think the right side of the ship here. All right, so this is to the lower fin. Ooh, you can actually uh, deploy all the drop pods together. Okay. So there's a thing on here that's called the captain's code. And anytime you see lock buttons like this, uh, it might need the captain's code input in, uh, but I don't know what the authorization code is. Supposedly, it's in the captain's quarters. Actually, weren't we just there? Uh, let's see if we can find the code real quick. Boy, this thing is tight. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, little quarters here. Actually, here's the captain's quarters. Okay, so there is the authorization code. So it's 1537. All right, so now we should be able to unlock any of those keypads here. It's going to turn on some of the lighting. This is cool. Like, this thing is ridiculously cool. Takes a little bit to learn the layout of it, but once you get the hang of it and kind of where everything is, uh, it's not too bad. All right, so here's where, I guess, the bridge is. So it does have a GPS. Uh, you've got that. Uh, let's see. Master shutdown, open fuel lines, authorized bridge transfer. Uh, there's a control where you can go, uh, yeah, down somewhere uh, down there. You can actually, I think, take control of the ship from there. It's got a scuttle on it, so I'm assuming that just shuts down all systems on the ship. Reset, send code, okay. All right, I think we're ready here. Uh, we'll go up to the front. Okay, 1537, boom, authorization code, here we go, send code. All right, everything's unlocked here. So we could hit the drop pods, which we might still do that. Let me go ahead and uh, let's get up here to the front. Do I need to do anything here as far as codes? Lock exterior entrance, oh, that's cool. So, nobody can get out now, so we've trapped everybody in here. Let's go spotlights on. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and hop in. Let's learn the controls here. There's a cruise control right there, altitude hold right there. All right, so am I ready to lift here? Let's go and see if we can see if this is the way it lifts. Oh, there it goes. Oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're taking the dock with us. Uh, that, was there a release for the dock? Hold on, I think I was supposed to go straight vertical here. All right, come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Just unhook yourself. There it goes. Yeah, go straight vertical. Then take off. That is a... Yeah, that's what you want to do. Wow, look at that. This is insane looking. Like, I don't even want to ask how many hours this took because it was probably a whole lot. So, here we go. We're up in the air. She's stable as can be. So, you can manually control it with the WASD, it seems like, but you can also input uh, GPS, altitude hold, so this thing can take you wherever it needs to go. Now, we're going to go ahead and climb pretty far. Do we have an altitude read here? Let's see, fuel tanks, altitude. Let's go ahead, let's put the hold at 
I'm gonna call it 200 here. So let's go 200. There we go. Altitude hold. Activate it. All right. So we should be uh, in theory climbing right now. Let's see. There it goes. And we are almost at 200, and we are about there now. So we can uh, adjust the cruise control if we just want to move in one direction. Let's go. Boom. Okay, cruise control is activated. We are moving forward. You can see by the uh, exhaust streams. So we could always just go to the back here and, and do the uh, actual GPS, but a lot of you guys have seen how these work. So you just type in the navigation point. Say if, uh, hmm, let's say we'll call our waypoint over here. So we'll go waypoint, we'll go here. Let's go input waypoint, submit, and boom. So, yep, you could fill it yep it's turning right now I'm not moving the camera so it's actually turning so you're good to go there that is cool so I don't think there's really a, a point for us to do this scuttle because maybe we'll open the doors and sink it but this is really not the point since it is a, a spacecraft I actually want to see the drop pod stuff like that's what I'm interested in so while this thing's moving to its waypoint uh, let's go ahead and drop down here and let's get into the drop pod actually we're gonna deploy a drop pod and then maybe we'll get into another one all right, here we are at the drop pods. Has the button came up on this? Okay. How does this work? I don't want to... <laughs> I kind of don't want to drop myself yet. Huh? Let's go over here. So we got this flight engineer. Looks like we need to be on this side. So this thing should pop out too. Let's see. Here we are. So let's input that code real quick. Uh, 1537. We're spinning right now because I think we're uh, over the uh, actual... Uh, location here so authorize drop pods okay that one hasn't popped up okay so we can drop these can I see it from here oh, I got an idea so let's go ahead we're gonna deploy all drop pods let's go ahead and stop uh oh okay let's unpause it real quick oh there they go oh look at that those are the drop pods they're gone so you could have stuck people in those and deployed out that is sweet. Wow. You know, I would actually like to see that more in some of the planes. Uh, just in some of the normal planes. Even though I don't know if that's such a... Is that a thing in normal planes? I think most of the time you just jump out and parachute. But, dang, if we had those, that would be sweet. Uh, that is awesome. Okay, so, question is, how do we deploy the other thing here? I probably need to read the instructions. Uh, there were several sets there. I guess we're going to try with this one real quick. So, if I turn the dock... Oh, that tried to lower us. All right. Question is, how does the door, is the doors, oh, it might be jammed, hold on. That might be it there. Okay, so let's turn that off. Oh, here we go. Okay, docking track. All right, we're lowering. It's working, hold on, turn that back off. All right, I think the door was just a little jammed. That's how it works. So as soon as that thing slides off and pops off, it should go down. That is cool. Wow, this is this is a genius craft. Uh, I love this. All right, we're hanging out. I guess we're ready to go here. Uh, let's see, headlights are on. Let's go. Boom. Oh, there it goes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I might be a little bit jammed here. Let's see if we can make it go down. There we go. Oh, check that out. Wait. That is surprisingly stable. So this is supposedly, uh, it's electric powered. Oh, you know what? That's how... Wait, you can almost do that pretty easy, I think. So, this thing hovers really good, and you go up and down with the arrow keys. So, I think if you go up and turn your connectors on, you could redock this thing. So, let's go ahead. We're going to turn here. That... Yeah, this might be one of the most amazing things on the workshop right now. That is cool. All right. So, we're going to come down here, and we're just going to drop right on the runway like nothing happened. I've got it uh, stabilized above me here. Here we go. And... Oh, man, we got to use this. We got to use this in multiplayer because I feel like this would be a, a pretty epic rescue or something. Like You'd easily drop those pods, go rescue people, get them up, and just try to put it back in. That is cool. Wow. <laughs> I am blown away right now. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. Uh, I knew this creation here, well, at least the two that we had were really big, so getting around to only two today was probably our best option. Uh, we'll check out some more stuff. Multiplayer's coming back here real soon, hopefully maybe tomorrow or the next day. But yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support on Stormworks. You guys are awesome, and we will see you guys next time.